thanks for helping us out yo what up guys we are live so we've got a fun stream for you today if you guys want to see some drama or some pointless arguing about who's a chat who's not or fucking jerking off to various fucking other chats on the internet then this is not the stream for you and this one we're going to be actually focusing on value guys who actually want to get better with girls and improve their dating life uh so i expect 30 percent of the audience to just bounce right after that but anyway so yeah so for the guys who are here this is actually like one of our value streams we're going to focus on uh we brought two guys on two case studies we're going to look at what their before results were like and then what their results are like now and what exactly they do to transform their results i think that's the most interesting part it's like okay hey like how do you go from this point to this point right and you're going to see a pretty drastic transformation in both parts we're going to go step by step uh guy by guy and then afterwards uh they'll answer any questions you guys have so if you're like hey how, how did you do this or what happened there or you can literally just ask us anything right so it's going to be a free open panel uh well free q a so you guys can just ask anything and everything uh without the way let's give a big thanks to both raj and jonathan for joining us i appreciate you guys uh appreciate you guys coming on so thank you of course of course all right cool so who should we start with indian p let's start with uh, raj okay i'll start with mr raj yes um so let me share my screen you see it uh-huh yep All i right. see it so uh not uh I mean, Raj. Raj. <laughs> uh, when, when did you join uh, PW, uh, PWF? Do you remember? I think it was around late April, mid May in 2020. In 2020, okay. So uh, let's do this. We'll go through your profile before PWF, and uh, you know, we're not gonna mock. We're, we're gonna try our best to not mock you. But <laughs> now, yeah. go ahead and roast me. I don't give a shit. It's for entertainment. <laughs> yeah. So. This was your profile before, I mean, before you joined PWF, right? I even see it. Can someone say Banchot? <laughs> yeah, so yeah, by the way, Nav is Indian. Uh, for anyone who thinks he's a curry cell, he's far from it, <laughs> just like me. Okay, so this was your first picture um, before PWF? Yeah, uh, Indian P, zoom in a little bit. It's a little small, just uh, do the, yeah, yeah, exactly. Good, 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 good. Not that much, yeah, yeah. just a little bit. Okay, good, good, yep. Okay, so this was his first picture, I guess. Um, let's go to the next one and look at that. Um, the first one is not the worst photo I've seen, but it's far from good. The second one, yeah, it's not that good. Yeah, second one is like lighting is so bad. Uh, it's like you're, you're with two dudes, clearly. It's not like, oh, shit, it's accidentally a girl or something. It's just two dudes. Uh, <laughs> look at this one. You're on this one? Hey, that might be the best one yet because it's kind of funny at least. But the facial expression kills it. He looks like he's so depressed. Like he 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 was like forced to sit on this thing by his like mom or something like that. This isn't in a pool. It's in a shopping mall. I know. If his facial expression was like where he was smirking, then it would be okay. But just he looks like he's so displeased right now. He's like, fuck this, fuck this, fuck this. Because he thought unicorns were were real, and then he found out they're not. Yeah, my mom. Dude, I was pretty bummed out when I heard that too. Honestly, it's fucking. Yeah. Yes, I would love to rub the horn of a unicorn. Okay, so that is, this is the next one. This is good. I mean, you know, it's military. I wouldn't say it's good. The idea is good. Like the military, is good. Exactly. military is attractive to girls, but the facial expression here and body language is way off. It looks just like he just doesn't have that strong masculine. I'm gonna fuck the shit out of you. Uh, look, it's more of like, oh, fuck. I've been drafted into the Russian army, and I have six months to go before uh, my country. I mean, Virus. This looks like he's doing tech support for military, you know, like like Indian tech support. Yeah. For military. Or like he owns this the only 7 Eleven in military. Okay, so this one, not at all good. Um, I don't really see much. No, yeah. it's not on you. I'm saying the photo. Yeah. You can't really see it. Yeah, it's sweaty. Like the background is bad. Lighting. It could bad. honestly be you in DMP and like, <laughs> like you could actually use this photo and the girls would never know. <laughs> I could, I could. Uh, yeah, so this this was your profile before, right? Uh, so how were your results with this? Absolute like, fucking dog shit. <laughs> like how many matches were you getting? Do you remember that? Less than 10 for sure. 
per week or per day? Oh, per month. Per month. <laughs> it okay. was terrible. And if I did get matches, it was like busted girls. And I didn't want to stoop down to that level. So yeah. two or three matches per week, essentially. Most of them being fatties. Okay. Yes. So funny if he was like, actually, I was crushing it, man. I was banging hottie after hottie. I would just completely destroy our whole like fucking theory. Okay, let's keep going to the okay. after now. So yeah, you want to do the after, or do you want to look at the interactions before? No, let's let's do the photos, and then we'll do the interactions to kind of keep it because people will forget. Yes, sounds good. Now let's compare it to the after. All righty, look at that. Look at this dude. Yeah, totally different person. Uh, badass background, uh, looking like you're jagged, uh, looking like you just uh, finished a, a crazy workout at the gym. Uh, and he looks good. He's got that like confident, dominant, like fucking vibe. He looks like like this is actually girls can look at that and like, damn, this guy's gonna fuck the shit out of me. Uh, versus the other one that was like, damn, this guy's gonna fix my computer. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. That's. This, that's the crazy contrast. Like, it's not just the beard; it's the expression itself. Like the, uh, like the smirk is there. Like, it's it's like he's looking at a building, but it looks like he's gonna fuck that building. Rush, who did these photos? Was this Justin or who did these? Uh, the first two, this one and the one before. Um, this one my sister took when I was visiting her. Okay. And the last picture, one of my good homegirls, she took it for me. When okay. we were at the okay. Solid. Yeah, it's like you don't even need don't don't even need to edit. This is the third one. Suit, cool background. I think it's just too smiley, but like still, it's pretty pretty good picture. Much better than. Uh, I would actually disagree with that. I think you should, especially if you're kind of like a like a bigger guy. Like not like right. in, the, in the first photo, he looks a little intimidating. So yeah. uh, I think it is good to have one photo to counterbalance that, where you look like, oh, this guy actually has a sense of humor. Right, right. That's true. That's true. I agree. I agree. Then the next one again, chilling, chilling, sipping a drink. It's like you're you're at a campfire or something, and like you're just chilling. Yeah, this is this looks like you with face app. <laughs> <laughs> this one, you guys look a lot alike. Yeah, we do look look alike. Well, that's a good photo. Uh, Jim. Uh, I'm also yeah. not, not not the biggest biggest fan of this one, but it's still better than everything in the old profile. Yeah, I agree. Uh, so I think this this is like a good way to like take gym pictures as well. It should look like you are you were just working out and then someone took a picture. I don't and know. Make what sure, sure the wait. What I've the mistake I've seen guys make is that they're doing a gym photo and their weight is like fucking five pounds or something like that. <laughs> and it's like make sure the weight is something that's like at least respect worthy. Like this one looks like some serious weight, but don't yeah. look, like I've seen people doing like bench press with the like pink dumbbells. Like yeah, look at me. It's like, <laughs> dude, like it's, did you not think for a second? Exactly. And then you this, is a, too. this is a selfie to ease out the whole, oh, are you fake? Are you real? Yeah. So this is kind of what I've learned actually more recently in the last year or two is that when you're a guy who has really solid photos and you're someone who's like <laughs> at least above average looking, if not more, that you want to have like one selfie too, because otherwise the girls will think you're a cowfish. So yeah, if you have a really good professional photos, uh, which I will consider these are, even though they weren't taken by pro photographer, they look professional. Uh, you do want to have one selfie in there. Like I have a selfie, my profile. I think it's something that I've just kind of learned recently. Maybe it's, maybe it wasn't really a thing like four years ago because there wasn't mm -hmm. as many catfishes, but now with all the catfishes, I feel like, again, if you have really good photos, you need that selfie almost. True. True. So, so what, go ahead. Yeah. How are your results now? Now, like how many matches do you get? Um, after these pictures. Yeah, with, with this set of pictures, <laughs> the guy's comment, uh, fucking, I was matching with a lot of hotties on Hinge and getting lots of compliance. Same thing for Tinder and Bumble. I was seeing like better quality of matches for sure. How many Compared matches do you, you get like a week? For Hinge, definitely sometimes anywhere from eight to five, eight, eight, eight or a dozen plus, depending on, on how much swiping I do. Mm -hmm. huh? that's four times a lot, uh four times a month than your previous profile more than four times uh, 80 to in a week as in like 40 oh yeah yeah and 40 then, what, what about other dating apps oh yeah like, combined it's like much more that's true yeah so facebook dating i've been getting a lot of matches too like quality wise 
And same thing. Well, re- actually, my Tinder's been like kind of broken from all the hard resetting. <laughs> so I haven't had that. But when I used a set, some, when I before I got banned on Tinder, it was doing really good. Yeah, that's, that's also a kind of cautionary tale. Don't do too many resets. I've seen this happen countless times. Countless yeah, times. Got to do too many resets. And then, bam, they get shadow banned. And then it's fucking tough once you're shadow banned. Um, yeah, the best Tinder I had was definitely height of COVID. Then it got banned. I waited some time, got a burner phone. Then when I got the burner phone with these pictures, I um, I got over 100 matches within like three weeks, I remember. It was like more than 100, but like less than 150, 140. And then what happened after that? Oh, I got banned again. Oh. What did you get banned for the second time? I don't know. They don't tell me. I just log on and said my account's been deleted. Yeah, it's bullshit. All these apps like literally love to punish people who give them money. Can you imagine that? Like people like, yo, Alex, I've been the mastermind for a few months. Yeah, you're banned. But why am I banned? Violate your terms of service. Uh, I don't want your money. Please don't give it to me. Please, please keep it away from me. Actually, no, because they actually will still charge you after they ban you. Uh, those fucking yeah, uh, unless, uh, until you cancel it, they're like, but oh, you, okay. you can't even cancel because you can't log in, so you have to call the credit card. <laughs> yeah, they're so fucking shady. But anyway. Uh, okay. So, um, yeah. Okay. So definitely quite the transformation. And so you're saying that all these photos weren't even taken by pro photographer. They were just taken by like friends and girls, you know? Yeah. So that one was my sister. The pool pick was my home girl and the suit picture where I'm on the balcony with the drink. I just asked random girls at a party to take pictures of me. So this shows you can get really solid photos without paying for a pro photographer. Now, look, I still would recommend it, but, uh, it's absolutely doable. Two thirds of the Tinder photos I have were not taken by pro photographer. They were taken by either my mom, my girlfriend, or friends. Mm-hmm. Uh, exactly. This this was the photographer one. I think this is Bora, yeah. or maybe. Yeah, that one was Boro. The Jim Pick was from Justin. Justin Harder. Okay, Justin Harder. Which one Bora was Justin? Also took some- uh, the Jim Pick with the dumbbell was from Justin. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's I guess get into the interactions then. Yep. All righty. Let's check out how this text game was before PWF. This is the first interaction. Mm. Okay, the opener. Hi, I'm the one. You can delete the app now. Did, did, Gosh, zoom that's... in a little bit more. Please. Zoom in okay. a tad more. Okay. okay, good, good. Yeah. No, no, you don't have to go that far. Yeah, it's fine. Just it's, okay. it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. So hi, I'm the one. You can delete the app now. I think this is a like a common opener some people use. Gosh, that's bold. Convince convince me. Of course, she's trying to steal the frame. What are you up to later? <laughs> yeah. So you're already going for the soft close, basically. Uh birthday dinner for a friend. Cool. Let's grab drinks sometime soon. Yeah, this is you're basically not even building up any kind of value. You're not, you're not bantering with her. You're not like, I mean, like over here, she's trying to take the frame. You should try to, you, you should first address that by taking the frame back. Uh, I would have said something like, uh, I can tell you, uh, you like bold, uh, hope you can handle that or something like that. Like I would throw it back on, back on her. Like gosh, that's bold. I would have said something like, I hope you can handle bold. Uh, not, not every girl can or something like that. You know, that with that way, you're actually stealing the frame from her asking you to convince her so I, w- I would probably say something similar but i would say would you prefer if i was shy and timid yeah that's also good um but i feel like the convince me is uh, is like we have to address that because uh if we don't then she's going to continue doubling down on that frame uh-huh. what are you up to later birthday dinner for a friend cool the problem is also he's sort of escalating on a shit test exactly that's what it is convince me is a shit test essentially uh and yeah, you as, as just general rule of thumb, you never want to escalate or change the topic on a shit test. You want to just focus on addressing the shit test. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So yeah, like you, you escalated. That's even worse than like ignoring the shit test because you're escalating on a on a on a lower compliance note or wherever. I mean, when you're obviously that's if she's giving no no compliance, you should not escalate on that. Or okay, here's another funny one. I just thought of when she says convince me, you'd be like, sorry, you haven't earned my dick pics yet. Oh, yeah, I like that. <laughs> um, birthday dinner for a friend. Cool, let's grab drinks soon. It's like you're not even listening to watch, uh, reading to what she's saying. 
He's just going like, okay, I'm going to meet. I'm going to meet. I want the meat. Doesn't matter what I did. I need the meat. Uh, well, you've got to tell me what you have to offer first. See, because you did not address the convince me, she's doubling down, right? Because you did not, you ignored it. You completely ignored it. And you went for the uh, meat and then you escalated on that basically. Okay. So, so you, so you said, I have to offer a question mark. Well, you seem confident. I'm going to, I'm going to fall head over heels for you. But you have to, t uh, you have, you have yet to tell me why. Uh, that is something you're going to have to see for yourself. Drinks. <laughs> now, look, the idea here isn't terrible. It's just phrased yeah. suboptimally. Like, if I was to say that, if I was to go with that idea, I would say, uh, you have to tell me why. I'd rather let you find out in person. Like, mm -hmm. I'll, like something like that. Or um, I could, but it would be a lot more fun. Uh, if I let you find out in person, probably, probably the second one that I said, I think that one could definitely work. Yeah. I like that. I like that. Um, but, but either way, I would not actually go for, uh, the meat. Like exactly. it's still yeah. escalating on a shit test. Yeah. Um, uh, um, I'm well, you seem confident. I'm going to fall head over heels, uh, for you, but you have yet to tell me why. Yeah, it's we're, a long, yeah, we're I would say fine. something like it's a long list. And I'm not concerned one bit uh, about about you falling uh, head over heels, or something like that. Or I'm 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 not concerned. I'm very confident about it, or something like that. Like you, but then you just don't go for the meat so quickly. You would have, you would have to get her to again try to do that, and then you go for the meat, or first pass that test and then go for the meat. Haha, -ha, maybe, but not without some effort on your part. Give me a reason. Again, she's like, she still has the frame because you're not addressing it properly. That's why she's doubling and tripling down, um, and then, and then let's go next. FaceTime. Oh no. <laughs> nah, I think I'm good. Thanks though. Out. <laughs> Damn, I kind of want to make a video on this on this one because there's so many lessons here. Uh, fuck, I'm gonna write this down as a reminder for myself. I definitely, I think there's a lot of lessons here about yeah. shit tests. Uh, but essentially, yeah, this comes down to just not passing the shit test. Really, this is what this one comes down to: 80, 90 percent. Yeah, I mean, no, first of all, not not even not even realizing that it was a shit test. Uh, then, like escalating on a lower note, uh, and then doubling down on it while she's doubling down uh, on her frame because she, he's not passing the test. So she's like, I mean, yeah, I like you, but you have come on, like pass this test. She is like begging you to pass that test, but then you keep escalating and then going for the meet. Right, right, right. Okay, let's take a look at the next before interaction. So this is like a combination of like three interactions. I just put we can just we don't have to look at all of them. Just one will suffice. One more will suffice. Okay, so this is the opener. Oh, this is back in 2019. Ooh. Zoom in a bit, please. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. You might not be a banana, but I still find you appealing. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> okay, and then the girl obviously just laughed. She didn't even. Uh, she didn't. She didn't even like. I mean, she just laughed. So that's it. And then you sent a banana gif? What is this snap? Raj. I think it was a gif. I don't I don't remember what he this dude is doing. He might have been like kicking the bananas or some shit. I don't remember. <laughs> okay. That's random. Uh I'll be impressed if you can do that. Okay, let me zoom in a bit. I'll be impressed. So what? Like if she can if she can stick a banana up her ass? Okay, so it doesn't make sense. You might not be a banana, but I find I still find you appealing. And then she's like, and then she just laughs, and then you say, I'll be impressed if you can do that. Oh, maybe it's for the GIF. Okay, you're addressing the GIF. Uh, that guy did something impressing, I guess. I'm I'm not that good. And then and then you're like, I feel like you may have other hidden uh, hidden talents then. It's okay, it's not bad. Uh I'm chilling for real, for real. I was I wasn't expecting you to be shy. I feel like you may surprise me later, though. Um, I'm really, I'm really not understanding what you're doing here. Okay. Um, I think over here it was not bad. Like I'm not that good. I would have probably used like the leader frame. Not, not to worry. I'll teach a few things. I'll teach you a few things. Or something like that. that would have been good. Uh, I'm chilling for real. For real. I wasn't expecting you to be shy. She's not being shy. She's not. She's just not understanding what you're trying. It's just to. low investment. Yeah, it's low investment. Uh, she doesn't feel like she needs to invest. Like without any kind of value, like she's not going to invest. Unless like she finds you really attractive. But 
most girls like they're just not gonna do it if this is how it is far from shy lol the best way to way for me to find out would be over margaritas uh, far from shy uh maybe something like is that so i uh how confident would you say you are or something like that you would you would have to get her to invest more far from shy uh maybe something like hope you hope you have a bit of a wild side to you or even that would have been better right so like getting her to say things which will help your interaction move forward over here you just you just straight up straight up like suggesting drinks and obviously she's not going to be okay with that i don't like i don't drink like that though lol <laughs> no worries we'll still have a romantic evening romantic you say and then after that you didn't say anything right so what happened uh yeah i'm not too sure what happened i i, I... I might have just not responded because I didn't really know what to say. Right. So I might have just left it. Yeah. Yeah, she's like actually like laughing at what you're saying technically. <laughs> uh, she's like, you know, like she's she's probably like confused after this basically. <laughs> so you you just do not respond because you didn't do, didn't even know what to say basically. Yeah. Okay. I don't think we need to look at more before uh, or unless you guys think we should, but I feel like we kind of get the picture generally. Yeah. I want to spend more time on the afters. Yeah, I agree. <clears throat> I guess like yeah, like Raj, maybe just real quickly summarize like what were your big issues that you were having with text game before PWF? Just really under trying to understand the frames behind everything and just trying to be creative and witty. Mm, okay, gotcha. Yeah, it's more of the reading the underlying the shit that's in underneath the lines or whatever the hell they say, you know, the read between yeah, the lines. Between the lines, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that can be tricky. I struggled with that too in the, when I first started. Okay, let's jump into All it. All righty. So I'm going to be going through two lay reports of his um, uh, because, I mean, you you want to get lays from the app. That's what you sign up for when you. We understand that. <laughs> <laughs> when you go when you go through when you sign up. Okay. Anyway, so this is the opener. Classic PWF. Can I be honest? Please do. I like how submissive we look. Because his profile is much better now, he can get away with saying something like that. Like, because he is coming across dominant, right? And then she goes, what makes you say that? As a dom, there's subtle things in your pics I notice that give it away. Do tell. I'm curious. How can I you think also another important thing to preface is that this also works because of his bio. Uh, yeah. and, and to some extent, his photos, the shirtless photo, but uh, the bio in which I'm sure he has dominant in there, BDSM, right? You have some sexual shit in your profile, I'm assuming. Yep. Yeah, so that that's why, right? If you have a purely platonic profile and buy it, then this line will not work. So I think it's a very, very important caveat. So again, if you're playing really safe with your profile, don't send that text. It will not work. Exactly. Do tell, I'm curious, how can you tell that from pics? Your facial expressions, body language, and look in your eyes, they tell me you you like to take, uh, you, they like tell me you like to take charge outside the bedroom. However, in the bedroom, you like a dominant man to take control and leave. Very nice. And that's a very good cold read. Uh, uh, well, I can't say you're wrong there. Perfect. That means she agrees. Uh, I, I already know exactly what you'd enjoy. I think that's a very good bait. Like, so basically, it's like he's subtly, gradually escalating rather than like, let's grab drinks. Let's grab drinks. Let's grab drinks. He's like gradually escalating. And then look, look what she says. Any chance you want to meet up today? Bam. She's already into it. Um, and then, yeah, you, do you like wine? Okay. So I guess on the same night, she forgot to check the app again. This happens so many times. Like they'll, they'll be down to meet, but then they'll probably forget to check the app or like they are okay with the idea. They're flirting around with the idea, but then they're like, ah, you know what? I'm not going to meet anyone. So it's important to like follow up. Yeah, do you like wine? She doesn't respond. A day later. If you're too nervous, I totally understand. This is good. Yeah, not, let's, uh, yeah, takeaways. Takeaways are very, very important. Um, and especially they need to be used correctly. But uh, essentially the mistake a lot of guys make is when they get non-compliance, which is what this is. Uh, essentially in non-nerdy PUA terms, like when you uh, invite the girl out or you send her a message, she doesn't respond. It's not compliance, right? Now the mistake that guys make uh, there's two mistakes they make. Number one is they just keep pushing. Uh, and so they'll be like, uh, hey, do you want to get together this weekend? The girl doesn't respond. They'll be like, maybe like Saturday or Sunday night, question mark, right? That's pushing. 
or they try to change the topic. That's uh, that's not as bad, but still suboptimal. Um, so how was your weekend, right? But essentially the problem with that is you're rewarding bad behavior. Uh, takeaways are the solution there. So again, you're ta- like you're pulling back essentially verbally and they work fucking wonders, as you can see. Yep. So there you go. Like most guys, I'm pretty sure at this point, yeah, do you like wine? In a couple of hours, they're going to like double text or some shit. They're going to send like three question marks, four question marks or something like, if you hate wine, that's fine. If you cannot meet, that's fine or so, shit like that. That's what guys do because they don't know that you shouldn't double text un- unless enough time has passed, which is like, you know, more than more than a day is what he took to double text. So that's very important. The only uh, caveat is if it's something time sensitive, like you have a date set up for that yeah. evening. Yeah. But other than that, yeah, he's right. Okay. Obviously. So it's like the date has not been set up. So it's important yeah, yeah. to uh, yeah, send a double text. Haha, I do like wine. What makes you think I'm nervous? I'm just terrible at texting. So this is good, right? Because um, most most guys will be like, oh, fuck, she's not interested. And then they'll, they'll just leave. They'll probably unmatch or like they'll just, you know, forget to follow up or they'll think that it's it's a, it's very, it's a low value thing to do to, to follow up over here, uh, which every red pill guy will agree with. Uh, I do like wine. What makes you think I'm nervous? I'm just terrible at texting. So it's like the, like the takeaway kind of challenger and she does, she wants to get out of that frame. So this is like an anti-frame. Let's put a bottle soon then. Uh, I'm down. Shoot me a number. Bam. She gets, she gives a number. Okay. So it's an app from the thing. Hey, how's it going? Busy with work and have business things. How's your Thursday? See, he's keeping it very simple. Um, work and having business. Looks like he's he's doing stuff. Just in class all day, getting some, some of my readings done. What do you do? Hope you aren't too distracted by my handsomeness. This is, this is a line I came up with. Uh, all of PWF knows it. Uh, I work for a company and run a team where we protect payments of Fortune 500 companies from hackers, and I run, I run a business too. That's pretty cool, right? It's a, it, like the framing of how what he does for work is very important to look at um, because some people will just say, some guys will just say, I, I'm a cybersecurity engineer. That's not that's not in, intriguing enough. You kind of have to explain how, how we do it and then frame it the right way as well. Wow, you missed a businessman. That's dope. Thanks. What are you in school for? I'm in law school. You lawyers keep finding me. <laughs> I like that. That's pretty funny. Uh, that must be your subliminal conscience because because you did that cold read, right? So she's like getting back to that. So if you do so- certain things the right way, girls will recollect it for you. Uh, who knows? I do find lawyers. Okay, let me zoom a bit. Who knows? I do find lawyers very fun, adventurous. Let me fuck. Uh, and open-minded though. LOL, wait, you're in a room, uh, you're in a room of us, pretty loud and annoying. Wait till you're in a room for a room of us, pretty loud and annoying. Yeah, she's referring to the courtroom. Mm, don't don't turn me on like that when you're not here in person. <laughs> I like that you it, it's it's good that you went back to sexualizing because that was the initial frame of the interaction. You don't want to go soft over there because the f- initial frame is sexual. I'll try my best, but sometimes I can't help it. You know what I imagine right now? I think you were trying to go for the sex, uh, sex thing over here. But I think she... I think just, I was, yeah. Yeah. Right. But the, she just did not bite on it. If you're too shy, I totally understand. Four days later. So again, important to double text the right way. And then eight days, I mean, four more days later. Oi. <laughs> I like, that's okay. <laughs> just like, just like a, another double text. And then you send this GIF, uh, this image, pretty... Uh, Pretty hilarious. Happy Valentine's Day. Everybody's getting late. <laughs> oh my God, he's triple texting. Isn't that so low value? How could you do that? Oh, it's, and they say you can't do that in fresh and fit. And no. You got the lay, but you quadruple texted, man. That was so bad. You know, now, now, now the lay is like. Lay count is minus three now because you you quadruple text. You, you get one point for the lay, but negative five for the uh, for the fact but that you quadruple text. Stand, red pill gospel. Okay, let's keep going. Ha, and then she just says ha ha ha, and then you're like she oh she lives. Sorry, I had a crazy week. It was my birthday and my friends were up. See, like like you can triple quadruple text, but just do it the right way. Don't do it in the same fucking night. At yeah, this doesn't count towards my lay count, unfortunately. Yeah, you did. For 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 text, it's it, she she was a waste time waste of time, bro. You should have just unmatched on Tinder, okay? 
I don't know why he kept texting her. Uh, and then, and then nice. I like that because, because one thing to remember, because she did say that she's a terrible texture. It could just be because she's a terrible texture. It's good to go for the meetup again. Like after that, if she doesn't respond, then, you know, this was, this was never going to happen, but at least you try. We'll, uh, we'll have to have our own uh, celebration. I love a celebration. So I'm down. Beautiful. When are you free to split a bottle of wine? I hope you guys can see this. This fucking Zoom thing is coming. Uh, when are you free to split a bottle of wine? See, it's like going back to that. That's very good. Probably next weekend. Again, she she gives a bit of non-compliance again. So again, it's important to push through. This you is another to, takeaway. Yeah, it's another two, uh, It's another solid takeaway. You don't sound too confident. Uh, I usually have shit to do for school over the weekend, but I can try to get it done before the weekend. Sounds good. I'm sure you can uh, use the stress relief anyway. But notice how much more investment he gets once he hits her with a takeaway, right? And yeah. that's, that's what you want. Investment is really the biggest thing that matters. Like, girl, guys look at like, oh, how do I build comfort? How do, how do I build attraction? Really, the way I look at it is how do I build investment? Like investment is honestly king. I'm not saying there's not other elements to attracting a girl, but mm -hmm. I think it'll, if you just focus on the investment part, you're probably going to be okay. Exactly. Um, and then, uh, another takeaway. yeah, there's another takeaway. Our 2021, where reactions count as replies. Hello, Yuri. Yeah. Uh, yes. What'd you say? Oh, no, I was just going to say, when she said, hello, your trip, I just left it. And about, I, th I think like 10 to 12 hours later, she just called me out of the blue and we talked. We talked for like an hour. She kept explaining to me that she was just a bad texter, but she was just like, we just vibe on the phone, really. Yeah, yeah really. and that's, that's because um, – sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but that's that's because you did not respond to her. If you respond to her, I think the chance of her calling you would have been slim to none. And, again, mm -hmm. sometimes you got to strategically leave girls on red, or I typically – what I'll do is I'll just like their message. Actually, I'll play the same game, but not if you've already sent the uh, 2021 where you can't combine those strategies, but – because then it looks like hypocritical, but yeah. And then like girls will be like, she'll be sitting there and she'd be like, damn, like what did, did I say something to piss them off? Right. And then, yeah, they will either double text or call you. Uh, so yeah, that's, you know, sometimes you got strategically pulled back, but anyway, keep going now. So that's the thing, right? Like she, the reason she called is because like he was, he's persistent uh, and he doesn't like, you know, he's, he's not chasing, he's not needy. And then like when the girl is not giving, giving enough shit, he's like, okay, I'm not just not going to respond. So she's like, Okay, this this guy is not just like a weird online online dating guy. It was like this guy has some good qualities, right? And then you, I think this is where you sent where you would grab drinks, right? I think that's why you. Yeah, sent yeah, I sent her a location. Okay, and this is I guess maybe on the call you were talking about meeting up. Well, can then, can we know where she lives, please, so we can all go to her house? <laughs> just kidding. Okay, keep going. Yeah, so basically, I think he was on the call talking to her about like meeting up, and then. She probably asked, like, oh, which which place is this? And then he sent that location. Yeah, that's what happened. Okay. And then he sent the Ryan Gosling like, meme. Hey, girl, happy Thursday. Hello, hello. How was your Thursday snowy day? Oh, I guess it was snowing in February. In class all day, then take, uh, take a fat nap. You busy with work today? Just crushed a killer workout. Looking nice and fit for our day tomorrow. Bam, that's a good way to confirm. Haha, uh -huh, yeah, and what time do you want to do? It's good. Uh, so this is, like, again, solidifying. It's important to solidify just because you spoke on the call about like what time you would meet doesn't mean she's just going to assume that it's going to happen. You got to at least follow up on the same day or the day before. Like sometimes I even say something like uh, looking forward to meeting you tomorrow, uh, just uh, the day before. Uh, you don't have to like, uh, sometimes I don't even do all this, but it's, it's, it's important to, again, like get her more and more invested and solidifying and like double confirming, but then you do it the right way. You don't say something like, uh, we are meeting tomorrow, right? Or something like that. That's a low value way of asking it. Uh, and then you confirm the time. Sounds good. Uh, and then sounds good. Yep, see you tonight. What do you like uh, better? Straight hair or curly? Very good. Straight hair. Great. On my way. Here, got a seats. Cool. Be there soon. Last year was fun. Fire. Uh, that's when, that's our text we sent when we fucked the girl. And the experience was great. Had a good time. So tell me how it was on the date now. Oh, she was she was actually pretty cool. We vibed really well. You gotta stop calling him the N word. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like kind of, kind of defeats the purpose. Uh, yeah. I mean, 
Well, this is this is a massive transformation from the uh, fucking pre, the you know the. Yeah, I, know. I mean, this is, this is like a nine day thing, kind of like the profile. What do you um? Let's ask uh, this uh, mysterious Raj what he thinks were like the biggest, I guess, lessons he learned when it comes to texting, or the biggest things that like were game changers for him. The biggest game changer for me was being able to finding ways to be persistent without losing value. Mm-hmm. It's and also like mm-hmm. a big thing with me was this girl was actually pretty hot. Like when I started matching those like hotter girls, I was like, I want, I want this chick, you know. Mm, so there was like yeah. more desire. It also feels like you just got much better at understanding the dynamic, uh, you know, the conversation. Like you weren't like really sending like bad texts or whatever it seems like you were pretty accurately like reading into each situation like pretty much every text you sent i would say was like you know at least somewhat optimal if not highly optimal there was no text that you send man to where i was like oh why did he say that uh so yeah you- no banana jokes yeah I mean, I could nitpick and like point out like one word that I might use differently, but then they doesn't fucking matter. Like you know, um, yeah, text game is a threshold thing. You know, it's like you gotta be just good enough, um, and then you know, it doesn't matter if you're like ninety five percent or eighty five percent, right? Um, but yeah, man. I mean, uh, Indian P. I don't think we have to go through another one because um, we're That's already right. like forty minutes in. But let's, uh, I guess let's let's ask Raj this this question. So just being brutally honest, you won't hurt our feelings. What would you say, like, what are your, like, how did the mastermind help you? And like, what are your thoughts on like the whole uh, experience, I guess? Uh, the mastermind was massive help. Uh, just being able to reach out directly to someone and getting their feedback almost instantly. Because before this, I was running RSD game and it was absolutely fucking dog shit. <laughs> And I didn't really have that initial way to get like feedback from them, you know. I was just watching their videos on YouTube and uh, just kind of winging it, you know. <laughs> mm-hmm. What would you say? Like, I know it's kind of a difficult question, but if you had to like put a number on it, like uh, obviously there's a massive before and after. What percentage of that would you attribute to uh, PWF? Definitely ninety to ninety-five percent. Damn. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take that. Uh, yeah, man, that's fucking epic. Um, do, you, do you have the count of like uh, how many lays you must have gotten after you joined PWF? Because you know lay count matters. <laughs> yeah. So I uh, I need to rattle my brain a little. So I think when I joined PWF, I was at maybe eleven, and then now to this day, it's I hit ninety last September. But it's more it's it's more than a hundred for sure. I just stopped counting because I don't give a shit anymore. <laughs> Damn. Nice, so man. four years. I mean, like I mean three, two years. Uh about yeah, 90 years. plus from dating apps and at least 18 to 20 from cold approach. Oh wait, just just to confirm one more time, you are indeed Indian, right? You are an Indian man. Yeah. Okay. We might need to see like a 23 and me uh, genetic test because, uh, you know, your results are too good. You know, I thought that Indian people can't get laid. You know, yeah, this is pop, me. Quiz. pop quiz. What is your favorite Indian dish? You have to you have to answer it or else you're not Indian. Tandoori chicken. <laughs> That's right. right answer. It's Indian. One. It, OK, is Indian P a band child or a mother child? <laughs> He's both. Neither. Oh, wow, that's yep. He's Indian. Confirm, confirm, confirm. <laughs> awesome. Uh, yeah. Do you have any, I guess, other like final thoughts on, I guess, the mastermind or just your own transformation or any tips you would give your earlier self before we move on to Jonathan? Yeah. So when I was running RSD game, I thought I was, I thought I could learn it on my own because I was, I wouldn't say ego. I wanted to learn, but I was just like kind of stubborn, you know. But, uh, I definitely should have invested money earlier because I'm now about 31 years old and I got into shit in 2014 when I was like 21. Yeah, I was the same exact way when I was younger. I would also try to like do everything myself. As I got older, I realized that time is really valuable uh, and that you can't really get your time back. So now like I'll get coaches for various shit all the time. Fucking YouTube coach, uh, fucking marketing coaches, I'll do consultations with people. I'll fucking pay a lot of money too. I'll pay like five hundred dollars an hour uh, to talk to like a YouTube expert and get feedback on like my titles and thumbnails, and it's fucking worth it. 
uh, rather than spending like three months trying to figure it out on my own. Um, so, yeah. Um, all right, let's move on to Jonathan. Yes, sir. Jonathan. So you want to give a little quick introduction, I guess. Uh, before we jump in. All right. Yeah. So um, if, if y'all thought uh, Raj, <laughs> Raj's before was fucking cringe, you ain't seen fucking shit. Oh, oh I like know, that. This is, this is going to be uh, – I'm just going to be sitting here in this chair like, you know, cowering um, beneath the camera. Um, but yeah, um, my journey into game was pretty typical, I think, just like being garbage with women for like 23 years of my life before just eventually saying fuck this and deciding to actually do something about it. Um, and yeah, I was, I was drawn to PWF because like I watched a few other, um, YouTubers and then when I saw your content, I was like, wait, like this guy actually like has receipts. This guy like actually has proof of him getting laid. Like this is the one, <laughs> this is the guy whose advice I'm going to follow. So yeah. Sweet. Uh, but those are fabricated screenshots. Those are not. No, yeah, yeah, dude, you're right. Well, yes, yeah, uh, so are mine, unfortunately. So, you know, and, yeah. Yeah, these yeah, are. Maddie's actually uh, secretly a Colombian prostitute who I pay five hundred dollars an hour, except for the fact that she's a U.S. citizen. I don't know how that works. But anyway, let's uh, okay, let's let's jump into Jonathan's. All righty. Yeah. Nice picture. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> that's a Chad right there. Of course, that's a Chad. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I just don't see the point of the picture. It's like. It's not even that he like looks terrible in this one. It's just that the he's like in like a very top right of the photo. Like you know, you want to be generally centered, and like eighty five percent of the photo doesn't include him. Yeah, basically, it but, looks like he's at he's just at a beer bottle shop. It's, it doesn't even look like it says collection or something. You know, it's that's pretty yeah. cool if it's like a collection of bottles. Okay, that's pretty cool. But like, I mean, it doesn't doesn't really serve yeah. any kind of purpose. <laughs> it looks like the, it looks like the dog is getting fucked right now. <laughs> Doggy style, like pun intended. <laughs> Afternoon face. I don't even know why the caption is. There. And, and the dog is just taking it like, oh my god, yeah. one more cent. I don't. I don't think I have yeah. the caption in the in on the apps. To be fair, but okay. anyway, yeah, it's like Absolutely. yeah. But you have the picture right on the apps. Which obviously makes it a hundred times better, you know. No caption, it makes it a good photo. You the know? caption should have been that moment when you're about to bust. <laughs> <laughs> when when my when my dog asks for a snack. <laughs> I secretly took off the condom. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> We're getting yeah. banned today. Uh, another, I think, is uh, the first and the and this picture we're taking on the same day. Clearly, it's, it was like a beard yeah, tour, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> I, I just had I I had no photos, which is like typical of like a lot of guys, I think, which is why they have like fucking selfies. Like I also had. Yeah, the yeah. the the lighting is is really bad. That's what really I think makes this photo bad. And I mean, it's the, not just that. Like he looks like a little kid. Uh, who's yeah. who's looking for his parents in a in a beer shop? <laughs> he's lost and he's like looking for his parents. Mommy, I'm <laughs> done with the dog. Where are you? Okay, let's keep going. Uh, uh, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, so it's, it's the same odd. exact shit as the other photo. Well, at least it doesn't okay. look like you have a borderline appropriate relationship with your animal in this one. But the uh, yeah. the, the cropping is. Uh, uh is yeah. yeah the cropping is bad <clears throat> i mean in the end pet pet pictures are good but like this one like is just not good at all like the yeah. you're wearing a jacket inside your house like that doesn't make sense um like what your heater broke <laughs> yeah this is also bad lighting yeah uh, but this so looks like you can uh, you can uh, you see one of those like university promotional videos like this guy, like he's looking. Oh, yeah. This guy, a graduate. Yeah. Uh, this was probably the best one we've seen so far, in my opinion, but still not good. Yeah. I would say, like, again, the fashions are great. Um, nah. The Back lighting up. is the biggest issue. Lighting, yeah. The, the, this, this, this part is dark, basically. Yeah. 
So, and this is the last one. Oh, yeah, no. Again, little kid. Uh, little kid who got kidnapped, and then the kidnappers let him take a picture. Yeah, no, you were right. Uh, this, uh, it's not, it is worse than Raj's. I don't know if it's like, yeah, yeah, it like is super significantly worse because his, his was pretty bad too, but I do yeah. think it's worse. Uh, ju just with that like dog photo alone. Uh, it's like it's not happy. Like the dog looks so sad. <laughs> it doesn't fit. It doesn't fit. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, so I guess what kind of results uh, were you getting with this profile? Uh, dude, I was I was drowning in pussy. Obviously, <laughs> that would be funny. Uh, um, shit. I mean, like it, it. It was like so bad that like I didn't use the apps very much. You know, because it was just like. Probably like a waste of time, yeah. but probably probably like similar like like single digits like per month probably like maybe ten and then like same thing like the quality was uh, suboptimal. Mm. Yeah, so probably the matches you were getting were like fucking girls who had like a dog fetish and be like, "Hey, can I be your dog?" <laughs> <laughs> I, I have a bone I can throw to him. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll stop with the dog joke since I have a dog too. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's uh, go into the after. Yeah, so let's go to the after. Yeah. All right. Oh, right. I can really see massive transformation. Were these taken professionally or did you use these uh, with a friend? So that one, that's like the most recent one. I actually just threw that up on my profile like a few days ago. And it's been, and it's probably too early to tell um, how much better it's gotten. That was a professional photographer. Uh, funny enough, all these other ones are actually my dad. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, this one is pretty good. It's better than everything you had in your previous profile. I don't know if I would use it as your main one, but I'll tell you which one I would use as a main as we go through this. Okay. Let's take a look yep. at the next one. Um, yeah, solid photo wouldn't use it as a main either, just simply yeah. because you can't really see, but, uh, yeah. yeah, good photo. Yeah. It's like, he's doing some shit, you know, um, decent photo. Just cropping is weird, but, uh, I would just crop this differently, but other than that, it's solid. Yeah. Suit, uh, expression is solid. Like, you know, it, you don't look like a little kid anymore. You, you look like the CEO of a company, you know? This one I actually haven't used for a minute, but it did. Uh, it was one I was using for like a, a lot of my lays. I, yeah, this. I mean, again, it's way better than everything you used to have. Wait, go back yeah. to that place again. But um, I don't know if I would use this one. I think actually this one could be good if you go on Face App and you change your smile and give yourself more of a smirk. I think this one could be made actually really solid. Uh, and not even with like um, filters, just with simply changing the smile. But the girls are oh, going to yeah. ask you to smirk in person and they're going to realize that you're catfishing them. Nice. Oh. <laughs> All right, next one. Uh, okay. Is, is this the one you use as main right now? No. Which um, one do you use as main? No, you, you, actually, you actually didn't. I, I, I'm pretty sure I sent it to you. Well, I sent you like a few different iterations, yeah, but the yeah, one I'm using as main right. right now is not on here. Okay. Uh, Jonathan, Jonathan has been reinvented as a man. Dude, you, yeah. I mean, no, you don't even know the half of it. <laughs> I actually am 24. Okay, let me let me, uh, let me see which one you use uh, use as a. Well, let's let's just get through these for now. Uh, yeah. Yeah. This one. I, oh, that was the last one? Right. No, 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 no. No, no, there's one more after that. Yeah, I have the same. It's Again, it's a decent photo. My feedback is just the smile, I feel like, is just very mildly off, but that can easily be fixed. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, hit me up afterwards if you want, and I'll show you how to do that. Uh, okay, let's keep going. Okay. And then this is like the adventure one. That's pretty good. It's yeah, not bad. yeah. The lighting is not ideal, but yeah, I mean, uh, like it's a, it's a neat, a natural. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of this is levels better than the uh, the other yeah. ones. So what's what's the main one? That is we this the one? Yes. Okay. So this is the main one. Yes. Wait, hang on, hang on. We can't we can't see it. Just go. Yeah, a little... you, you see it on my face, like in my. Oh, sorry. Okay. Yes. okay. Try to. Wait, we need to hang on. Here's how we're gonna do. It. We're we're gonna take this off. Okay, now show it. That's okay. Get a little closer. Get a little closer. Okay. Yeah. 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 That might be the best one. If if you will also show them show them the one of me uh, sitting down 
like in with the eat here sign yeah that one um i had like a pretty decently oh, attractive girl tell me that was my best photo that's, that's like a few days one. ago yeah that's so the best one. i'm gonna try okay that's definitely yeah. the best i like one. the Good caption one. thing too eat here that's pretty yeah, yeah, one, yeah. One, one, one quick tip though wait pull, pull, uh show it again here's a quick tip for you uh no the the one uh just yeah. crop like two-thirds of the space above your head and it'll be perfect you have then little... the eat here is uh is gone sorry what but then the eat here part of it is gone yeah that's fine the problem is, is that when it's cropped like this it makes you look shorter but when you crop mm -hmm. it closer to the head it makes you look a lot taller trust me on this i 100 percent swear okay. how tall are you by the way how tall are you six foot oh six foot. yeah yeah it's just like i've yeah like in that photo you look short yeah you look five eight, eight. You're gonna guess five yeah eight. you will look taller uh but yeah i 100 percent. that is your best one if you crop it okay so okay um, those, those, those two pictures i did not download i guess okay okay yeah. so let's uh i guess talk about the uh difference in results so what did you notice uh with this new profile yeah so i mean i'm I'm still optimizing it um i'm actually getting a, a photo shoot with boro next month which which yeah. should be pretty fire um but i would say i mean a, again the same as roger it depends on like how much i swipe but like easily like double digits per week hell yeah that's a yeah that's a what a 4x or 8x difference or it's probably like 10. 10 or more yeah and do you find you're getting also a uh, higher quality of girls in addition to quantity oh like <laughs> by far yeah yeah for sure yeah like people will say oh there's no hot girls on dating apps no there's just no hot girls they're matching with you yeah. profile sucks mm -hmm. right but if yeah. you have better photos you will see that there's a lot of hot girls unless you live like in fucking i don't know bangladesh or something like that uh but yeah uh so i guess next let's uh get into the texting portion yeah i'll show uh you're gonna you have to share my share my screen again i already did yeah. okay cool. okay yeah. this is the this is after you got the number right yeah so i unfortunately the anything like from the apps from back then is long gone but yeah i, I found okay. a couple of these buried in my phone yeah that's good that's okay I mean, yeah. this is the before right yes yeah. okay cool Hey, it's blah blah blah. What's up? Just caught up from a nap and hang. In the MP, zoom in a tad. Just okay, hit, yeah. hit 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 the plus once. Okay, good, good. That's fine. Hey, just caught up from a nap and I'm, I'm I'm hanging with my grandpa. What about you? Hey, just chilling, gaming, listening to music. So pretty typical Sunday for me. LOL. Oh, very nice. I mean, it's like gaming, listening to music. I think you can you can add a bit more DHPs over here, obviously. So pretty uh, pretty typical Saturday for me. LOL. Yeah, it's kind of a DLV because you know, it's a hell of DLV. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be a typical Saturday, to be a, <laughs> so it's be a typical like weekday, not Saturday. Oh, very yeah. nice. Oh, very nice. I just got done uh, playing Fortnite with my bestie. Give my playlist to listen, road tripping. Uh, also, I nearly forgot. I guess you guys spoke about uh, sending over each other's playlists or something over the app. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. How romantic. Yeah, so romantic. Yeah, I know. Uh, oh my fucking god! You have summertime in Paris on this. Marry me. <laughs> oh, messy like like a like a twelve year old girl. Now the, the funny yeah. thing is, like this in real life could actually work uh, if delivered correctly. Like, wait, you have summertime in Paris on this? Marry me right now. Like that would actually work. But some yeah. things that sound good in real life don't sound good over text. Yeah. <laughs> uh marry me uh that's that's one of my favorite songs of all the time all time off one of my favorite albums of all time o double f okay <laughs> fleetwood mac 2 sorry uh, oh my god i have not met a singular a uh, singular other individual that knows that song set the date but not gonna lie uh not gonna lie i'm a fake fan i i, I do i don't know the album just that one song had to throw some fleet in there, of course. Send your playlist. I will be, I will be doing my best to change that. People who know me very quickly learn I have an unhealthy obsession with Jaden. Is like it's a dude. Yeah, dude, Jaden Smith. You never heard his music. Uh, Jaden Smith. Yeah. I never heard of the music of that yeah. music. It, it it is no it, it, that is actually an absolutely phenomenal song though that 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 what, what, is he like Will Smith's son or something? Or? <laughs> no. Yeah. 
Yeah, he is. Wait, his songs are good? Only or when the only that's Oh song. yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, no, he's he like actually is one of my favorite artists, yeah. Oh, no, I didn't know he like, like the hell underrated. Yeah. I'm actually a big fan of Bill Smith, I guess. I didn't know that his character. Are you? Yeah, I like his. <laughs> I mean, he was good in some movies, but anyway, let's keep going. Not as cucking though, just just making it sure. Okay, well, thanks for the clarification. Uh wait, did you listen to uh I wish I Mm. I can't fucking okay. <laughs> oh my god yeah so it goes on it, it is, yeah wait did you make that playlist for me specifically or was that just one of your usuals now i'll zoom in uh because not gonna lie i saw it was nine hours and just came through but i listened to everything in time i mean like that's that's a bit of a dlv answer i'm all right uh with that all oh, those uh, sweatshirts are sweet i have my fair share of band merch it's okay, ha, 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 no, I made this one a couple of weeks ago, but yeah, and it's not a fat playlist, no worries, you don't have to listen to everything. All right, since I can tell you're a real one, you guys are just talking too much about like music and stuff like that. This is like a conversation you would have on the date itself, like you don't have to do this all over text because it becomes like it becomes like an interaction you're doing with, with your bestie, best girl bestie or something, yeah? For yeah. Her. All right, since I can tell you're a real one, you're getting the entire range of my taste in this, you should probably listen to I listen on shuffle to get the full effect because uh, it's like very loosely in chronological order. And then you send the list. I had zero intentions of it being 69 songs and now I'm happy. It's not bad, uh, but again, <laughs> just a conversation fully based on music. Um, yeah. Zoom in, zoom in a bit, please. Yeah. Uh, lol, how does this, uh, this turn into selling cheese and accounting? Account, uh, how? Wait, did I miss a screenshot? I, I feel like you, yeah. Oh, is, it, is it like out of order, maybe? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, this, yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah, I think I, okay. So I also had zero intention of it being 69 songs. Ah, uh, nice. I'd say I like, I know like maybe 10% of this playlist, but I'm excited to listen. I'll take 10% uh, to be honest. I wouldn't expect you to know all of it, uh, which is kind of the point. Yeah, I mean, like, just. It it's just feels like, like like you're still talking about like this. It's like it's good to Bob. I would have changed the topic like ages ago, but yeah, that's why she even doesn't even respond for a whole day because she's like, oh my god, how much how, how much am I gonna talk about this music? Uh, haha, very true. How was you? Uh, how's your weekend been? It's been a ch uh, it's been chill. Haven't anything haven't anything too exciting, which is typical mm -hmm. again. DLV as fuck. Oh my god. So on a weekend you do you don't do anything exciting, which is typical. That's crazy. I'm kind of home party. Now to be fair, I don't really do anything exciting on my weekends. I just would never say that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. It's better to just not say it uh, than actually yeah. saying something low value. Like just don't say it. <laughs> you can um, omit. It. Yeah. Uh it's been chill. Okay. I'm kind of a homebody. Again, DLV. Uh, how about yeah. you? Mostly same. Hung out with my mama yesterday. I'm just leaving my cousin's birthday party now. Oh, nice. You sound like a nice family woman. Over here, I'm already thinking, nice. What did your mom think about your future husband? Or something like that. Or like, I would say, I would rephrase that as, ah, did you tell your moms about me? Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Uh, did you tell your mom about our love or something like that? Like, even that's that's better. Oh, nice. You sound like a nice family woman. <laughs> uh -huh, yeah, I'm very... Okay, now I'll go to the other screenshot. Uh, uh -huh, well... But did I miss another? No, no, no. So okay, so so let me let me fill in the gap because the, the reason why I sent you like just these five screenshots is mm -hmm. this whole fucking conversation would have been like 20. Like it okay. was so bad. So this is in general what I used to do is I used to just fucking banter on for hours and hours and hours and days on days because I was like too much of a pussy to like actually ask them out. And I think like get, pull up the last screenshot again. Oh yeah. Um because I think, I think she actually, like, soft closed me probably because she was getting sick of just like texting back and forth. But yeah, essentially the point of this is that I would just fucking go on and on for days without. Did you closing. ultimately go on a date with this girl? Yes, I actually, oh. I, I actually saw this girl for like two or three months. Oh, okay. But, okay and, and this is this is so bad, like never made out with her once oh but it wasn't actually like okay was i like 
kind of a pussy when it came to making moves, yes, but that wasn't actually the reason. The reason was because I wasn't even, like, attracted to her. It was just I had, like, so little options that, <laughs> yeah. So I'm assuming yeah, since the you, state of my dating life. I'm assuming since you didn't make out with her, you didn't bank her either, right? <laughs> no, man. I, I just went straight in. No, I'll be, no, I did not. Hey, that, that that happens once in a blue moon, uh, but not often. Okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, is there another before? I guess we can take a look at one more, and then we'll go into the after. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is, it's kind of the same stuff where it's just like keeps going for a long time. But, yeah. The same thing. Yeah. Where yeah. uh, I just start talking about a bunch of. Sh- hey, it's not a mumble. Bunch. I feel like our convo has just been about what I like so far. So what do you like? I like, was there anything you did like to learn in school? Jesus Christ, like such, such useless information. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love learning about psychology and space stuff. I was more of a science girl than a history girl. I would have been an astrophysicist if I, if I, it weren't all for the math. Um, oh, it's, that's cool. I enjoy learning about science as well. Just do not, did not like how it was taught to me in school. I don't really like any, how anything, I can't, I can't read it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Imagine being the girl, like. <laughs> uh, but that's a whole another uh, sociology and psych, where some of the rare exceptions to that, though. I love those classes. My favorite part of it. <laughs> Did he say, "Oh, that's poo"? Huh? Oh, that's cool. Okay, he said, "Yeah, yeah. oh, that's cool, not poo." <laughs> I, th- I think I think we we get the gist of it. We can move on to the afters. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so basically you're like investing hardcore and you were just matching with like really ugly chicks or like chicks you you were not attracted to, but you were meeting yeah. up with them because you did, you had no other options? Pretty much. Okay. Well, it's interesting because you have a totally di- you had a totally different issue than uh, Raj uh, in terms of text game. I mean, the end result was the same, which is, you know, lack of uh, dates with quality lack girls. Dates, but, lack of quality girls, yeah. But the, um, but the actual issue you guys had was totally different. But anyway, let's get into the after. Cool. Yeah. I'm going to share a different tab because I'm directly going from the LR. All righty. So, yeah, one thing one thing good about Mastermind is people fucking share lay reports, lay, lay reports that are not available anywhere else in the free group. But, uh, you know, we want to show what kind of fucking results these guys are getting. All righty. Yeah. <clears throat> LR. Well, well, just to clarify, it's not like we like say you have to do it like you don't have to do it. it's just people want to do it but anyway yep Keep yeah going. i mean i don't ask no i don't ask anybody to post but they love to post i know i just wanted to clarify that yeah, yeah. yeah. all righty lr petite 411 sexy latina 26 year old hinge Oof. oh my god i'm getting a boner right now with that ass tiny girl um anyway oof with that booty and <laughs> that's cool <laughs> i guess <laughs> nice <laughs> hola linda Okay, and this, matches, uh, this, is our, this is our most recent opener. Want to steal my confused hoodie? I like the term borrow. Uh, use whatever term you like. Do you, do you prefer red or gray? Red looks good on me. Haha. I look forward to seeing that in person. I'll be sure to, I'll be sure to wear it on our date. So you wear that red hoodie on your date. Sounds good to me. Sp- feeling spontaneous tonight? Most likely. Uh, good. Then you're going to love what I have in mind for us tonight. Nice, very solid, like you're beating. Um, uh, and then, <clears throat> indeed, indeed, do you like wine? Uh, and then how many, uh, after how much time did you double text? Uh, it was like two hours, which I mean, like obviously you typically don't want to do that, but I was trying to hold the frame that I wanted to get her out that night and obviously right. it ends up working, so yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, can you zoom in a tad more in the MP? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's fine. So yeah, then you're going to love what I have in mind. Indeed, do you like wine? If you're too nervous, I totally understand. Two hours later, haha, I'm not I'm not nervous. I'm bad at this app. Let's do something spontaneous this week. So not tonight, but she's she's down to meet up another day, right? So simply, you don't try to push. You just text it, right? Next. Yeah. Hey, is Jonathan from the thing? Hi, Jonathan. So what nights are you free for our spontaneous and romantic evening? I like that because. It seemed like she's invested and, you know, she's like ready to go. So you went for the meet. I have a pretty open schedule this week. 
Uh, so evenings, Tuesday, fr Tuesday to Friday. Uh, let me go back. <laughs> A house tomorrow at 6.30, super down. Do you like wine? I love wine. What did you have in mind? Split a bottle on my romantic rooftop. And then you double texture the next day, right? Yes. Yeah, next morning. So you like, you would think that she's going to respond because she's into it. But at the same time, like, girls are girls. Like, they're going to do this. It's yep. just unintentional. Like, they're, they they probably even see the message and then they, they replied in their head. I've had so many girls say, yeah. like, ah, oh, fuck, I thought I, I responded to you in my head. And like, they say that all the time. Uh, but then, like these, uh, most guys will think like, "Oh, she's just not interested. She's yeah. just a and I'm Like, no, just. Well, in 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 this case, it was a concern, as you can see by what she says exactly. next. Exactly. Yeah. Either she has a concern, or she just forgot to respond. That's how that happens. Yeah. Aha! Uh -huh, what a weird thing to say. I'd be down to meet and go go out somewhere. See, so, so that was a concern. She wants to meet yeah. outside first. Uh, after meeting outside, she probably definitely down to bank, right? Okay. Have you been to blah blah blah? Uh, no, I haven't. That place, that place looks dope. Sounds like a date. So she might have been spontaneous. She might have been invested. But because this is happening quickly, uh, she's not invested to a point that she's going to come over, right? So it's important to understand that. Then just go for the public meetup, which is what you did. Oh, my God. This girl reminds me so much of a chick that I banged a few years ago. Also 4'11", also nice ass, also similar skin color, uh, also... Uh, was super invested but then like when a virus to my place disappeared also had to re-engage also had to meet in public yeah, yeah like similarities are crazy you don't live in miami by any chance do you jonathan no okay no uh, i i wish though because like the see the other reason i like you alex is because we have the exact same type we, we agree that latin women are second to none that's true that's true yeah you have a field day in cancun then <laughs> Dude, I was in paradise when I went to San Diego a few weeks ago. Like, I'm, I'm actually about to move there. Yeah, you should come to Miami then. Oh my god, uh, I would definitely. I, I do, want, I do want to hit Miami. I, I, I will hit you guys up when I, because I, that's, that's, that's a, that's a when, not an if. Yes. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Nines and tens walking everywhere, like Starbucks. Yeah. As you can see in Alex's street interviews. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. No, I haven't. That place looks dope. Sounds like a date. I have something at five, but I can I can after or tomorrow, like earlier the other day. At least after seven to eight. Okay, let's plan on eight thirty, and you can let me know if you finish earlier. Hey, what are you up to? Cooking dinner. Your your thing finished. I am. Meet at bar in twenty. Dope. Great. And what did you say here? I don't. Know. Okay, I guess you you were just setting up logistics. I think I just said I was on my way. Yeah. Okay, you were just on your way, and then. Probably. Yeah. Tell, us, tell okay. us a little bit about the date. Yeah. So, um, she, yeah, I mean, a, a lot of it's uh, on there. I guess that that's probably better because uh, that will be. Uh, no, no, give us a give us a TLDR version. Yeah, I mean, I met her at the bar, um, and she was like. See how how did I see the poll? I said some. Oh, she she had like just moved um, to my neighborhood, and she was like said something about like the like all the new apartments there, and I was like, oh yeah, like my apartment's pretty new. And then I like said something about like I'll I'll have to show you here in a second. She was like, oh, I thought that was the plan. And when she said that, I was just like, okay, this this shit's gonna be so easy. Like um, that's, that's a big then, change from going out with a girl for two months that you're not even interested in yeah. <laughs> don't care. That's, a, yeah. that's a that's a pretty big transformation i don't think we have to go through the second one i think this kind of drives the point home yeah. um we so you have to see look at this one though within 10 minutes she's sucking me off on my balcony and then we head back inside for some epic kinky sex where she nuts three times including squirting all over the bed this is what fucking happens when you're in pw well not all the time but yeah <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we we don't we don't guarantee the girl nutting three times. Only twice <laughs> is part of the. Yeah, at least like sucking the dick on the balcony. Yeah, that happens all the time. Yeah, if you have a balcony. Um. Okay. So. Um. Yeah. So, what would you say are like the biggest things you learned? Uh. And like, what are some I guess game changers for you? And which ways did PWF help you? <laughs> oh man. Uh. Where do I even start? Like, I I think we're I think at first it was like. 
you know, I, I, I had no idea like what to say, you know? So like for a while I was like relying pretty heavily on like the canned lines, um, that, uh, that you have, mm -hmm. uh, but then like off of that, I learned to be like more short and succinct and like always moving things forward. So yeah, that, that's like a big one. Just like always be moving things forward. Um, and then, yeah, like the, the concept of DHVing, like flirting over text to get her interested, um, having like hooks in your bio and your profile and shit. Um, so yeah, I mean, pr pretty much everything. Mm. So then the, the follow-up question, which I asked Raj, is what percentage of your, I guess, transformation, and again, you can be brutally honest, you won't hurt our feelings, would you attribute to uh, PWF? Yeah, I would, I would say like 70, 80% PWF, and then like the rest just like, you know, working on myself, like oh, inner game. Dare you! No, I'm just kidding. Awesome. <laughs> that's, that's, yeah, that's yeah apparently, like, apparently this is a big issue. Uh, hot girls with a hot body apparently might have a very ugly face how ugly was her face jonathan oh ugly. yeah dude she was hideous i had to put a bag over her head and all i fucked yeah, her that matters a lot yeah i mean these fuckers like they'll try to find a way no no wait, i don't think he's actually doing that he's just he's just legitimately curious no but like okay why not assume that she was a hottie just assume well because sometimes i don't know because he he what's, might what's wrong with assuming he, he might not have hooked up with like a hot girl recently so he's like you know i don't know but i, I don't think it's a bad faith question but no let's answer this question for real like yeah. what would you how do you say what would you say her face was like like yeah she was like hot as fuck like she's probably the hottest girl i fucked nice Epic. yeah yeah um but yeah cool all right so yeah. we we flew through that uh pretty quickly uh guys let me let us know if you have any questions for me in dmp or more importantly uh jonathan and raj since they're not going to be here you know every fucking stream that we do versus i am uh but yeah i mean i think this is a really good two really good case studies uh showing you before and after and i think a lot of you guys will probably identify for for better or for worse will identify with a lot of these before examples it's like yeah like this is fuck this kind of reminds me of me right but again you can see that uh having bad photos which the vast majority of you guys have will give you shitty results and having suboptimal text game will get you suboptimal results right it's, you know it's pretty straightforward um okay here's a question um john how long did it take you for you to notice your game change Oh man. Uh, okay. I, I, I got a little story for you to answer that question. I'll try to keep it brief. Um, but the, so I think, um, when I first noticed your content, it was like the second or third video that I saw from you was on takeaways. And so I like watched the video and like, see you like double, triple texting these girls. And I'm just like, wait, you're, you're allowed to do this like this is in the rules like like girls will respond to you like girls will fuck you when you do this wow and so uh just like a light bulb went off in my head and i fucking was like damn i feel like there was this like super bad brazilian girl who like i got onto text like a few weeks ago and like uh she just like dropped off and so i like scroll down and it had been a full two weeks and i just send are you always this talkative and long story short, um, I end up FaceTiming her that night, getting her out the next night, and then getting her back to my place the next weekend. And then I ended up seeing her for like three months. <laughs> so it was it was like instant, but at the same time, like I, I've still got a long way to go. So it's always, you know. Yeah, you're you're always learning for sure. Even yeah. I feel that way um yeah also real quick i almost totally forgot about this so for the 81 people who are here and all the people who are going to be watching it uh if you want to get in the mastermind we got a little gift for you what is it a fucking coupon for 30 dollars off hang on i'm gonna post the link right here uh we'll probably keep this up for 48 hours i want to say 24 to 48 hours uh you know can't keep it off for too long but here it is so just click that link and you can get 30 dollars off uh, the purchase of the product and the first month of the mastermind is free. So you can try it out and then decide to stay in or not. Uh, afterwards, most people stay in. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's a great decision. You can go to the sales page, take a look at all the testimonials and whatnot. 
Uh, but yeah, man, I mean, I think that most people are really, really happy with like, would you say Jonathan Raj, are you happy with your decision to, uh, I guess, join the mastermind? Fuck. Yeah, I was a hundred percent. Oh yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, I, I don't, I'm not going to plug my shit too hard. Um, yeah, I don't know. Indian P is there anything else you think we should talk about? Um, I mean, I, I would want to know like what their experience has been on mastermind apart from just getting that almost instant help. Like, what do you guys think about the mastermind? What is so good about it? Or like, how did that improve your dating life or like friends? How did you, how did, how did that happen? Yeah. What a, another thing that I liked about the mastermind was meeting other like-minded individuals and making friends and those connections. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I, I think, yeah, to kind of buttress that point, the mastermind community is quite different than the regular YouTube community. Uh, there are, uh, okay, I'm going to preface it by saying there's obviously a lot of really good people in the free YouTube community, right? There's a lot of people who are actually serious, and motivated, blah, 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 blah. But there's also a lot of dudes who just want to jerk off to chats, complain, whine, bitch, um, obsess about Indian P's fucking dick size or his height or his like fucking some girl he fucked five years ago. Uh, and it's a little combination of those. And since I almost never ban people, it's kind of like that. Uh, in, the, in the masterminds, nothing like that. There's only people who are interested in improving because otherwise, why the fuck would they be in the mastermind? Uh, so yeah, it is, you get like all the people who are actually positive and motivated and none of the, uh, call them negative Nancy's if we're being generous. Uh, okay, sorry, keep going. I think I kind of interrupted. Uh, yeah. Um, were, were you done? Were yeah, yeah, I was done. Oh, no. Um, anyways, yeah, for me, like, it was probably the same shit. I mean, definitely, definitely, like, the instant feedback is the most helpful. But, yeah, I've met a lot of, of uh, cool guys on there, too. Um, and, yeah, it's always fun to share lay reports, too. <laughs> Nav, Nav has, I mean, Raj... <laughs> Raj, Raj, Raj has met a lot of guys from Mastermind, haven't you, Raj? Yeah, I got friends all over the country now. It's actually pretty cool getting to travel out, meet them, going out and gaming together. It's pretty dope. Lovely, sir. Sweet. Uh, let, let me answer this question. Um, how do you come up with a good response or shit test or even a good opener where you're not in a decent fun mood to do so? Yeah, that can be tricky, but I think with practice, you're able to just kind of automatically generate something like, you know, even if you're a bad mood and I ask you what's three plus three, you're going to be able to answer the question because it's, so, it's such an easy question, right? So if you get like really solid text game that you've done a lot, it becomes so easy that like even when you're in a bad mood, you can largely generate that. Um, so that's kind of the not so sexy answer. Uh, <laughs> there's a funny, uh, this is, there's like a running joke among some people that you wear a girdle in DMP, I don't even know how. Uh, I think, think even if I did, I would easily pull it off. <laughs> well, that's true. We should, we should do a troll video one day of like both of us wearing girdles. I uh, think, yeah, we, we could even like shoot and feel or something. It would be funny. With a girl, yeah. Like actually wear a girdle and then wear a fucking tight t shirt. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to show the girdle. <laughs> I work with a 46-year-old fitness mom. She got a ton of young chance. Orbiting, I went out with her and her friends. You wouldn't believe how much attention she got. Yeah, for sure. Um, hmm. How can I say this without? I don't know if there's any way I can say this without potentially hinting at who the person is. So I, I can't. But uh, I think you know what I'm thinking about saying in DMP. Yeah, unfortunately, I, I don't know how I could word this without hinting at who it is. So I, I just won't say anything. But sure. Um, OK, so I mean, yeah, I mean, I think that's basically. Why are you open looping us, Alex? Because <laughs> I legitimately wanted to share the story, but then I realized that if I was to do that, even if I like kind of uh, beat around like the details, it'll still be like some of this who it is. And gotcha. I, yeah. I like this person. Too nervous, I understand. I, I like this person. I, I don't want to like make them look bad. Um, I'll ask, make a lot about retaining girls to, and rotate them. I usually, um, actually have. A, I've had have this a, problem. I have this problem. This is my main sticking point right now. Mm. Uh, yeah. you see that two times for the year. Yeah. So did, um, did you see the part in the product about, uh, retention? 
yeah, I, I, I feel like, um, yeah, I mean, I, I should like reread it again, but yeah, I mean, it's basically just to say, like, make it clear to them that like, you want to see them again and then like make set plans. Right. Yeah. I mean, there's a little bit more to that. So I would say fuck them really well. Make them come a bunch of times. That's That goes a long yeah. way. Uh, don't kick them out right afterwards. Actually spend some time with them, cuddle with them, chill with them for at least half an hour before they leave after sex. Uh, that goes a long way. If they sleep over, that's a really good sign, although it can be some somewhat annoying for some people. But uh, I actually don't – I personally don't like it, but I'll do it if I, if I really want to see the girl again. Um, yeah, the, that is a big thing. Um, also, yeah, like indicate, like don't play it too coy. Like I would either tell her in person, I, I'll to actually not, I typically, I will do that. I'll tell her in person, like, yeah, you know, we should get together uh, sometime next week, you know? Uh, and sometimes girls will be like, wait, you want to hang out with me again? I'm like, yeah, absolutely. Um, that was actually my uh, ex-girlfriend before Natty, the girl before that, we'll just call her L for privacy reasons. L sounds like a loser, but uh, her name starts with L. Um, yeah, she was like, we met at a bar, uh, couldn't pull her to my place, went on a date, uh, pulled her back to my place. Eh, it, I think you remember this one in DMP. You were sleeping on my couch at the time. Uh, she fucking had a low tier anxiety attack when she saw how messy my apartment was. This is way before I lived where I live now. I was living in a tiny one bedroom. And um, I lost three retentions because of that too. <laughs> yeah, still wound up banging her. Um, and then afterwards I walked her to her car and I was like, yeah, you know, like we should definitely hang out soon. She's like, really? You want to see me again? Cause she thought it was just a one night stand. I was like, yeah, absolutely. You're fucking, you're a lot of fun. Um, and then, um, yeah, hit up the girl, you know, I would say within 24 hours. Uh, well, I'll actually typically test her that night and be like, that was fire. She'll be like, yeah, it was. And I'll be like, we should do it again sometime soon. And then really just set up the second date basically. That's uh, kind of my take on that. Um, Uh, not that I've seen, but I don't really know much about. I don't really follow him. He just seems like a typical red pill loser to me. And yeah, he just sits in front of the uh, computer with his 15,000 uh, 15, 15, pound glasses. They're so fucking thick. They're thick. Like They're thicker than a Latina. If you say we should meet up sometime after some good back and forth and then she goes, we'll be better to say that. Uh, I don't think the problem is what, what you said. I would just hit her with a takeaway. I would be like uh, either like or not. Or like if you, it, well, it depends. If it's a second date, mm -hmm. then I would not use the nervous line. If it's like, if you guys haven't met up yet, then I would probably definitely hit her with the nervous line. If you're nervous, I understand. And if it's a second date, I would just say, or not, um, or something and, like that. And, and something to also keep in mind is uh, <clears throat> it's never just one line that messed things up. Typically it's like a, like a stack of mistakes. Like it's not like just one single mistake is going to, one, yeah. one thing you said is going to fuck it up unless it's like really bad something you said but when she when she did not respond to we should meet up sometime that means either you you went for the meet up too quickly uh or um i mean that that's probably like the more more common one or like there was not not enough investment from her or like it was not a gradual build up right you're not qualifying her you're not uh sexualizing or like you're not building some banter you're not building any kind of investment from her side all of those things matter and that's when that's when you kind of know that that's that was the reason why she did not respond to the we should meet up a suggestion cooper claims to be dating a hot chick now a little maybe he is maybe he's not mm -hmm. um generally speaking i feel like as a youtuber like you you would use your girlfriend in the video unless she does like some high clearance government job uh, which probably she doesn't because then she would not be a good trad wife, um, which is like what these red pill dudes want. Uh, even my girlfriend who has like a like a high paying corporate job, like my girlfriend comfortably makes six figures. Uh, even she will like do my videos like all the time. I mean, she's not going to do like a sex demonstration video, but anything short of that, you know. Uh, but yeah, and I, I, I hate speculating on shit. I don't really fully know. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I think we got through a lot of good shit. I think there's a lot of value in the stream. Uh, speed dating will be tomorrow, uh, unless one of the girl, a bunch of the girls flake. So far, we have three confirmed. So unless something, uh, unless something happens, uh, we should be good to go for tomorrow at 8 p.m. 
Um, so, um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this and I'll do one less shameless plug. I posted the link. So if you want to get $30 off the product, in addition to a free month in the mastermind, then click that it'll be up for like, I don't know, like 48 hours or something like that. 24 to 48 hours, probably 48. So, uh, don't wait too long. All right, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Uh, and a big thank you, Jonathan and, uh, Raj for joining us. Thanks for having us on. Always a pleasure. Have a good night, guys. Yeah, pleasure.